If you're currently subscribing to Lightroom and Photoshop for $10 a month, then you are also getting, as part of that package, Lightroom Mobile, an app for iOS and Android that provides really robust cloud support and integration with your desktop version of Lightroom. The way it works is that in Lightroom on your desktop, you can set any collection to be published to the cloud. So here I am in Lightroom. I'm talking about collections, not folders. Collections are the virtual photo albums that I mentioned before. I can create a collection, drag whatever images that I want into it, and here they are. They don't take up any extra space. There's this little switch over here, which is a little like two-ended lightning bolt or something, or some kind of universal icon for cloud networking. I don't know. Anyway, I click that to turn it on. I already had it on because it takes a while for it to send everything to the cloud. So I had turned it on previously, and what that means is that these three images are now available in a collection called Demo to all of the other devices that I attach to my cloud account. There's also now this button up here that says Make Public, and that makes it available to other Creative Cloud users, and then you get into a whole social media thing where you can get feedback on your images and all of that kind of thing. So this album is now available to any other Lightroom mobile device that I have attached to my Creative Cloud account or any other Lightroom client. So this could be a phone, a tablet, or another computer running Lightroom. Those cloud-based connections are visible on all of them. So take a look here. I've got these three images, uh, three landscape images, and, and these you've seen all of them before in this course. So that's what I'm looking for on my phone. So now if I go to my phone, and launch the Lightroom app, I see this. I've got three things going here. I've got Lightroom Photos, which are, uh, which is an album of photos on the phone. And then I've got these two collections, Demo and iPad. Demo, of course, is the one that I had just created and published. So there are my three images. So they have made it from my computer onto my phone without me doing anything other than checking that one box in Lightroom. I can tap on it and see a version here. Looky there, I've got a histogram. Down at the bottom there, you can see a crop tool and an odd tool in the middle, and some sliders on the end. If I tap that, I get here the full set of Lightroom adjustments. Actually, not the full set, but a huge amount of, of the same Lightroom adjustment tools that I have in Lightroom on my desktop. So here's a contrast control. Here's uh, just the shadows control for brightening, brightening or darkening shadows. So it's really nice that the whole approach to editing that I already know in Lightroom is right here on my phone. Any changes that I make from any device that's attached to the cloud get pushed back to all my other copies of Lightroom. So this is a great way to take images on the road. I didn't have to do anything, they're just already in my phone. And Adobe is using some very clever technology to keep me from chewing up lots of storage carrying these images around on my phone. Lightroom Mobile is based around a version of Adobe's DNG format, which allows me to preserve full quality on my images at home, but take editable proxies of my images with me. Edits that I apply to these proxies get applied back to my full quality copies when I get home. That said, at the time of this shooting, Lightroom Mobile frustratingly lacks keywording controls, which is the kind of thing I'd like to really do on the road. It's a good the phone's good for it, and it's something I can do while I'm sitting on an airplane or something. And I can't right now export full-res copies of my images to my phone. That may change in the future. And even with those caveats, for a heavy Lightroom user, this is a great way to integrate mobile functionality into my Lightroom workflow.